It can be tricky planning a holiday of a lifetime. There are so many places to go and only a limited budget. That's why many people opt for cruise holidays. You can enjoy the onboard offerings while ending up in some pretty cool places. But some cruise ships offer better experiences than others due to their size. From Britannia to Ada Nova, here are 15 biggest cruise ships in the world. Number 15. Allure of the Seas Allure of the Seas is owned and operated by Royal Caribbean International. Even though it's one of many cruise ships under the same ownership, it certainly stands out in its own right. It is easily one of the largest cruise ships in the world. In fact, at the end of 2009, it was given the title of the actual world's largest cruise ship, sitting at 1,187 feet long and 236 feet high above the waterline. Allure of the Seas isn't just well known because of its size, though. There are so many things about it that just make it such a fascinating ship. For example, its interior is more like a town. There's a theater with 1,380 seats, an ice skating rink, a two-deck dance hall, and 25 different dining options. The ship is even split into seven neighborhoods to make it easier to navigate. If you're missing the creature comforts of home, you'll likely find them on this ship, since it even has a Starbucks coffee shop. When you're on board, it's easy to forget you're in the middle of the ocean, not a township on solid ground. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Navigator of the Seas. Another of Royal Caribbean International's finest cruise ships is Navigator of the Seas. This ship is truly sensational, so start saving your pennies so you can afford a well-deserved vacation. This ship is 1,020 feet long, has 15 decks, and is capable of carrying up to 4,000 passengers and 1,200 crew. That should give you a reasonable idea of just how large this ship is. Just like other cruise ships owned by Royal Caribbean International, being on board is just like being in a luxury vacation township. You can relax in the spa and fitness center, enjoy a show, or hit the shops for a spot of shopping. There are also many different dining opportunities, or you can order room service. Even those who enjoy a classic frappe from Starbucks are in luck, since there's a Starbucks coffee shop on board the ship. Have a good time with your friends in some of the bars and lounges, or join the kids at the water park. Here, you'll find the longest water slide at sea and an entire deck for lounging encompassed by a swimming pool. Number 13. Britannia Britannia is a 1,082-foot-long cruise ship designed to cater to 3,647 passengers and a crew of 1,350. It might not be the largest cruise ship in existence, but it certainly has plenty of offerings for those looking to escape on their dream holiday. Those who like to be social on their vacations will have many opportunities to do so. There are plenty of bars and restaurants, not to mention seating with beautiful ocean views. But if you tire of watching the waves, there's plenty to fill your days. Go for a swim in one of the four pools, visit the steam room, relax in a whirlpool spa, or try out the hydrotherapy suite. This large cruise ship even has space for a fully equipped gym, fitness and dance classes, a theater, casino, and art gallery. Or if you like some quiet time, you can venture into the fully stocked library. In total, there are 13 massive passenger decks to explore on Britannia, so if you're trying to avoid bumping into particular people, it's likely you'll not even see them once on your entire cruise. Number 12. Norwegian Breakaway 
Norwegian Breakaway was named the best cruise ship for families by USA Today. And we're starting to see why that was such an appropriate title for it to have. On its 18 decks spanning 1,068.4 feet, there are so many things to see, do, and experience. You can lounge around in the restaurants and bars with 25 different dining experiences to enjoy on your trip. You can even enjoy Broadway-style entertainment, a sports complex with mini golf and a rock wall, and 24-hour butler service in some of the special rooms. Have some me time in the spa, go for a hot stone massage, or treat yourself to a facial massage or acupuncture. Basically, think of anything you want on a vacation and Norwegian Breakaway will have it. That's not to say this ship doesn't have an unfortunate reputation for a few different reasons, though. A woman fell down two decks in 2013, and a four-year-old fell into a pool and drowned the following year. Another four-year-old boy fell off his bunk and suffered a head injury that same year. In 2018, a blizzard caused significant flooding, and then it was caught up in a COVID-19 cluster after one person had to be medically evacuated and later died. Number 11. RMS Queen Mary 2. The RMS Queen Mary II is a beautiful British transatlantic ocean liner that retains the title of the only purpose-built passenger ship for use as an ocean liner. It was first launched in 2003 and has a regular route between Southampton in England and New York City in the United States. This 1,132-foot 1 beauty is truly something special, even down to its build quality. Because it had to be designed as an ocean liner, it needed around 40% more steel than what you'd use for a cruise ship. Most people who've been on this ship would say the extra costs were completely worth it, though. It has enough space for 2,695 guests spread out over 18 total decks, and what you'll find on these decks will make you want to sign up for a cruise right away. Most of the passenger common areas are on the lower decks, with the passenger rooms above. Deck 2 has a theater, cinema, planetarium, casino, pub, and restaurant. The next deck up has even more restaurants and bars, a nightclub, and a shopping arcade. You'll even find the largest library of any cruise ship, with over 8,000 books for vacationers to enjoy. Basically, this huge cruise ship will blow your mind. Number 10. Genting Dream Genting Dream is a cruise ship that was designed for the Asian cruise market. It was first launched in 2016 and completed its maiden voyage in that same year. Genting Dream is 1,100 feet and 2 inches long, with 18 decks and room for 3,348 passengers and a crew of 1,700. These features alone can set the scene for what you can expect from such a massive cruise ship. The accommodation types are those you'd see in any five-star hotel, with balcony staterooms, ocean view staterooms, and luxurious family rooms that ooze elegance. Once you're well rested, you can visit one of the many eateries, such as the 24-hour Blue Lagoon Cafe, a steakhouse, or a day-long buffet. You'll certainly need to put on your elastic banded pants for this cruise ship. Finally, you get to enjoy a number of different entertainment options. There are live music events to suit all tastes, an immersive cinema experience, and even live shows. Even the kids can have a fun time, with plenty of child-friendly activities at sea for education and enrichment. All this while you get to travel around Singapore, Thailand, Malaysia, Vietnam, Indonesia, and Brunei. Number 9 MSC Sea View MSC Sea View, owned and operated by MSC Cruises and built by Italian shipbuilder Fincantieri, cost a whopping 700 million euros in 2014 to build. At such a high cost, it's probably of no surprise to you that this is a massive ship, not to mention a beautiful one. It is 1,060 feet long, has 18 decks, and can comfortably cater for 5,119 passengers and 1,413 staff.
That means you're sharing your vacation with nearly 6,000 other people. You're basically in a small town. Even though this ship stops in many different places so you can explore towns and cities, there's also plenty to keep you occupied on board. You can relax in one of the many luxury suites and even be entertained at the theater, Forest Aqua Venture Park, and two bowling alleys. There's even plenty for the kids, with a baby club open for children between 1 and 3 years old and a mini and junior club for kids from 3 to 11. Even the teens have plenty to do, with two teenage clubs featuring a disco, gaming room, and cinema. Everyone's also bound to be well-fed and watered in one of the many restaurants, bars, and lounges, many of which provide world-class food and various cuisines. Number 8. Norwegian Encore Norwegian Encore joins Norwegian Bliss, Norwegian Escape, and Norwegian Joy in the Breakaway Plus class ship fleet owned by Norwegian Cruise Line. If its grand size of 1,094 feet doesn't capture your attention, then its colorful paint job surely will. This ship is made to stand out. Norwegian Encore was named the best new ship in the Porthole Cruise Ship magazine in 2020, and it's pretty apparent why this newcomer gets that name. It can hold up to nearly 4,000 guests and 1,735 crew and is designed to keep you entertained for the entire duration of your stay. There's a racetrack with go-karts, award-winning Broadway-style entertainment, and plenty of extraordinary eateries. And by extraordinary, we really do mean it. You can help yourself at buffets, visit a casual cafe, or even opt for on-the-run food if you want to head back to your room to relax. Or, if you'd prefer, you can relax in the Madara Spa with hot stone massages, a thermal suite, a salt room, and specially trained staff. It won't be long till you're booking your next holiday on this ship. Number 7. Spectrum of the Seas Spectrum of the Seas is part of the Quantum Ultra class of cruise ship that Royal Caribbean International currently operates in Asia. It may not be the largest ship at 1,139 feet, but by gross tonnage, it is the fifth largest, and that's a pretty impressive feat. Spectrum of the Seas has 18 decks, 16 of which are accessible by its 4,905 passengers. Even though this ship has barely been run in due to its maiden voyage just a year before the COVID-19 pandemic, many people would make this ship their first choice for many reasons. If you want to be kept busy, you will be. There are bars and lounges to try out, live shows to be enthralled by, and a range of dining experiences. And by range, we actually mean it. You can opt for something casual like a hot dog, get room service, or pay a visit to the restaurant that specializes in famous chef Jamie Oliver's cuisine. To help you burn off all those calories, you can have a go at archery or fencing. Or you can finish off your meal with something sweet by taking a cupcake class. Class. There's almost nothing Spectrum of the Seas doesn't offer. Number 6. MSC Grandiosa when MSC Grandiosa, owned by MSC Cruises, first hit the water in 2019, it was the sixth largest ship by gross tonnage in the world. But because of the design, it looks even larger than many other cruise ships you would have seen. It measures 1,087.4 feet long, has 19 decks, and can still travel at speeds of 22.3 knots while carrying 6,334 passengers and 1,704 crew. Now that is impressive. Things have been a bit challenging for this ship's operators, mainly because of the COVID-19 pandemic. However, when things are back up and running, as per usual, I'll be the first one to say that this would be my ship of choice. MSC Grandiosa doesn't have grand in its name for no reason. All the cabins ooze luxury, even among the most affordable. You can choose duplex suites, royal suites, deluxe suites, grand suites with private whirlpools, family cabins, and more. If you've got a preference, you'll surely find this ship caters to you. After you're well rested, there's also plenty of onboard entertainment to enjoy. You can visit the water park, enjoy a show at the theater, or relax with friends at some of the many restaurants and bars. Let your holiday of a lifetime begin!
Number 5. Mardi Gras the Mardi Gras is an excellence class cruise ship owned by Carnival Cruise Line and the largest in their entire fleet at 1,130 feet long. There's no other way to say it. This ship stands out. It has a vibrant blue hull, red and white accents, and 19 huge decks to cater to 6,500 passengers and 2,000 crew. Out of all passenger ships, this one would have to have one of the largest capacities. To make sure everything runs like a well-oiled machine, the ship is split into zones. There's Grand Central, French Quarter, Summer Landing, La Piazza, Lido, and the Ultimate Playground. Throughout all of these zones, there's something for the kids, mom and dad, and even the grandparents to enjoy. Onboard activities include things like a water park, a tiki bar, swimming pools, adult-only retreats, and a spa room. Here, you can enjoy body wraps, facials, massages, and more. If you want to cap off each night with something amazing, there are plenty of live shows and productions to attend. Or you can simply spend much of your time trying out the different cuisines. There are bistros, seafood-only restaurants, street eats, and more. This ship is essentially set up like a small town, and you can't help but love it. Number 4. Ada Nova if you're wondering why you recognize the name Ada Nova but don't have much interest in cruise ships, then we might have an answer for you. This 1,106-foot-long cruise ship is the first-ever cruise ship in the world to operate entirely on liquefied natural gas. Now, that's a pretty impressive feat. She is capable of holding 6,654 passengers, 1,646 crew, and all while traveling at 17 knots around the Canary Islands and the Mediterranean. While you're on board making your way to these exciting destinations, you can be enjoying some of the many standout features on board. There are endless eateries with all kinds of delicious cuisine, swimming pools, mini golf, theaters, disco dances, and an entire pool deck. You can also go shopping, relax in your luxurious suite, and check out the bars to make a few friends. Many people immediately fall in love with the street food too, which can actually feel like you're walking up an actual street to buy it. If you've ever thought that a cruise ship would make for quite a restrictive holiday, Ada Nova certainly proves that theory wrong. It has more to do than many small tourist towns. Number 3. MS Iona MS Iona is one of the newest cruise ships to join P&O Cruises, having been delivered in October 2020. Today, it is the largest ship ever to operate with P&O Cruises. It's just a pity people haven't had a chance to enjoy it yet since the COVID-19 pandemic kicked off around the same time. According to P&O Cruises, there is no official debut date to be determined since it was already pushed out a few times. But even if you can't jump aboard this beauty just yet, there's no harm in learning about what awaits when you finally can put your tickets to good use. There are 1,130 feet and three inches of ship to explore, which includes 16 complete decks and 3 partial decks. You'll also be sharing the ship with 5,206 passengers and 1,762 crew. MS Iona also can't wait to share with you a variety of exciting features that aren't available on other cruise ships. It's powered by liquefied natural gas, has a glass-roofed sky dome, and even has an onboard gin distillery if you're passionate about a beverage or two. But that's not all. Several parts of the ship are dedicated to dining, drinking, entertainment, shopping, and spa and wellness. There's no such thing as boring on this ship. Number 2. Costa Smeralda Costa Smeralda is the largest ship commissioned for Costa Cruises. And boy, is it a beauty. This ship measures 1,105 feet and 8 inches long, has room for 6,554 passengers and 1,646 crew, and comfortably travels at speeds of 21.5 knots with two electric propulsion drive engines. What's underneath is quite important, but what's on top is equally so. This ship has often been called 
a symbol of beauty, style, and Italian hospitality. There is 1,804 square feet of shopping space, 11 restaurants, and over 1,600 balcony cabins for passengers to enjoy. But the best is yet to come. Holiday makers can dine in restaurants looking out over the ocean or even be a chef for the day in the kitchen lab. If you've brought your children on holiday, there's a mini club for kids under three, along with many other fun children's activities. Why not go into the pool for a silent party or enjoy a virtual band? There are so many innovative and exciting things to do that you'll run out of time to do them all before your vacation is over. Number 1. Symphony of the Seas Symphony of the Seas is a $1.35 billion ship that first launched in 2018. It's 1,184 feet long with 18 decks and is well known for providing an unforgettable vacation for its many thousands of passengers. When this ship takes to the oceans, it travels with 6,680 passengers and 2,200 crew. It is one of the largest ships in the world and makes sure it leads the way in other respects too. For example, there's almost nothing you won't find in your nearest tourist town that you won't discover on Symphony of the Seas. There's a zip line, 1400 seat theater, and two 43 foot climbing walls. If that's not enough, you can shoot some hoops on the basketball court, take the kids to the water park, relax in your luxury accommodation, or try different cuisines in the restaurants. It doesn't have the cleanest record though. A passenger jumped overboard but fortunately survived while a crew member died from COVID-19 and the family sued Royal Caribbean for a wrongful death. Still, that doesn't mean this cruise ship shouldn't be one of your first choices for your next cruise. Get ready for an action-packed itinerary. If you get seasick, cruise ship holidays are probably not your cup of tea. But some of these cruise ships are so massive and have so many cool features that you might forget you're even on a ship. Which one sounded the most luxurious to you? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!